Hi, this is Cake speaking, and uh, just the same old day building coils, and nothing special, just blowing off few few of the equipment, and likely to be the transformer, and no smoke, no burn whatsoever, but it's a lot of, it's a truckload of data I have got with me, and I try to unload some of the stuff I come across and uh, let's keep everything in place first now I have three class of coils here the first is the standard Spadini coil then we integrate a little into these little guys here I cannot see it quite clearly with the sun reflecting on my camera and <coughs> this coil is actually quite powerful and with, with, with the new introduction of a ring on top of this coil it actually increased the uh, output by by three times as much as it would normally now we come to this point this is this is neither the radiant energy or the zero point this is one of the plate in water cells and and it's so powerful if you can tap into this little device here you are up to the power range up to at least 100 volt so is it power is it possible to tap into the power source of these water cells maybe we can try however to unload the truckload of data, I would try. I would run a short video of the of the experiment. Go along with this 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 class of T-shaped coils. So the video will be run now. There we go. Oh, well, that's strange. The light is quite quite. Mm, well, I short circuit it perhaps. The light is quite bright if you can see it. The coil actually shaped like this. It go into self self osculation with with no moving parts because this is a copper coated wire and I will have the reading of it I want to see its amps so I put it back where it was now I try to read the amps I cross the meter over and that would give me a reading 1.5 1.4 amps and now we should have a good idea of a current of about 1.4 amps in these coils and with the data collected so far concerning electrons so we have what the Maxwell has been talking about when electrons I do not quite certain of the whole theory but however it has something to do with the perpendicular setups of the of the way electron being 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 lay being laid out another way to that's the very powerful Lewin's effect and it all happening on low voltage is quite surprising the standard standard weight of electron going anti-clockwise and clockwise 
so the data collected so far this is one of the rodent rings is 20 degrees apart it has more complicated route for electron to travel and made more interesting patterns than we would usually do and it give out uh, some of the some of the most shocking outputs we have we have ever come across so with all the data collected so far plus these T shapes coils and with the resources of our open laboratory in YouTube you may head over to Ford Energy's experiments and I would have the link right there so you might see Ford Energy's double helix in action concerning electrons how the way electron behaves and how powerful Ford Energy's experiments is so with all that in mind that there is a new breed of coir being constructed one with the con with take adva taking advantage of the patterns that is going to be created in the coils and taking advantage of what actually electrons could achieve if you provide the cor if you provide the right environment so this is the new breed of coils I call it for I call it the alpha ring this is a double helix with the resources of our open laboratory it has a very positive reading concerning the way electron behaves electron just madly in love with this double helix so this is the first helix coil ring I have constructed you see it has the beginning and it has the end but this little coil, this little ring does not cross each other that's why I call it alpha I call it alpha ring and this is not a standard ring so I will go into the construction of this first alpha ring this first alpha ring is constructed with two helix However, the little ring would have two helix, two helix would cross each other physically. And in this first little ring here, it delivers a magnetical field very effectively and is a very effective coil when you apply when you apply patterns in the design it gives out north in the first half of the circle south on the next half of the circle so a magnetical field is being developed normally with just the same with all coils now let's jump into the most mind-bordering data and result I've got out of this alpha ring. This is the alpha.